It says, how is this legal? God shows off his quads miniguns that fire at 24,000 rounds a minute. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah by Hashem Rekakudash, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, my name is Tazamak Amak, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and well. Peace and citation to the whole for let that scatter abroad. And what we have here today is Esau showing off his quad miniguns, meaning a minigun like this, like you play on fucking Call of Duty. He got two on this side, two on the other side, shooting at 24,000 rounds a minute. All right. Guess what? They're going to Esau is showing you the stuff that the so-called white man Esau, he's showing you. His, his blessing, man, on a whole nother level. What he wants to use it for. You think he's just demonstrating just to shoot at fucking air? No, he's demonstrated because he gonna, he's going to use it against the against Israelites, man. Against the men of the Lord. All right. Let's get this first piece up. Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. A man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents, right? Esau's a cunning hunter. All right, with that being a cunning hunter, he's going to sharpen his sword daily. He's going to find new technology to up his technology of his sword daily. Um, let's get this. Uh, Genesis 27, right? Let's get it. Genesis 27. Genesis 27 and 38 says, Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me. Even me also, O father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the heaven from above, right? Because guess what? Esau runs his earth. He has control of his earth, right? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And, and with the world given into the hand of the wicked, hey, he's going to control. He's going to... He's going to use it to his advantage. Right. <clears throat> Verse 40, it says, And by thy sword shalt thou live. All right. Modern day sword will be your, your guns. Okay. And guess what? He has many guns. He has, he has military. He has a mini gun. He has a military. He has, he has fucking aircrafts. But see, us Israelites, we don't have we don't have that, man. All we have is our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. It says, And by thy sword shalt thou live and, and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. <clears throat> Alright, let's now let's get this precept. Um
let's get this Isaiah <laughs> Isaiah 41 and 14 it says fear not thou worm Jacob all right why are we called a worm it's because we don't have no military power we don't have you know we don't have something to you know as a um we don't have a military arsenal to defeat this we, we're not going to conjure up a whole bunch of jake and say let's team up and destroy this minigun okay we're not going to have a space aircraft to come down and drop bombs on esau no we don't have we don't have none of that man and that's why the lord compared us to a worm a worm has no fighting mechanism a worm is defenseless right fear not thou worm jacob and ye men of israel all right so the lord telling us to fear not even though we see esau you know showing off his guns showing off his his blessing all right i seen a jake he's showing he's shooting a fucking a 50 cal pistol a 50 cal pistol a 50 cal bullet is a fucking sniper <laughs> a sniper bullet in a in a pistol and he shot that shit that shit that shit kill your ass with one one hit no matter where it's hitting all right let's show you um see a big ass 50 cal pistol man and guess who's guess who's uh, holding it you know esau Esau's holding it, man. That big ass fucking weapon, okay. But now Esau got Esau got many weapons, many swords. He got many guns. All right, but the Lord told us to fear not, right? Fear not, thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Okay. And guess what? The Lord is going to help us by what? By giving us spiritual power. Okay? We need divine intervention from this devil. Okay? Verse 15, it says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Teeth represents power. Okay? So the Lord said, I will make you a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth, having power. Okay? When when the lion, when he shows his teeth, it's showing his power. Okay, he's showing his power. Or right, a dog, a bear, is showing their power by showing their teeth, because their teeth are fucking sharp. Okay, and it says, "Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills a shaft, which will be your, your big governments, and your hills will be your your or smaller governments." Okay. So hey, the Lord said we're gonna have, we're gonna have. Um, <clears throat> the Lord says gonna make us a new threshing instrument, having having teeth, having power, and shall beat them, beat the governments, and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff, man. So we're gonna make all these big time governments little, small. You ever see Invincible Man? Invincible Man, he was indestructible. That. That represents us. Once once we have that power, we're, we're, a bullet going to hit us with Superman. Bullets going to hit us. Many guns, many bullets going to hit us. Hey, we're not going to be phased by it. We're going to be deflecting it. Or we could, we could pause the bullets and turn them around and shoot them at you. You know, that that's the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. That's why the Lord said, fear not. I will help you. Oh, verse 13 even says that. It says, For I, Yahweh, thy power will hold thy right hand, which will be, who's who's on the right hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? Yahweh Shai. Saying, Say unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So we, so us seeing this carnally, we, we can't fear. We're not supposed to. Okay? Because, hey, the Lord, the Lord is stronger. What the Lord has is, is stronger. Okay? Um, let's get this.
All right, this is uh, Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spear of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. All right. And you go into this word standard. All right. It's the Hebrew word. It means to flee, to escape, to take flight, depart, disappear. So the Lord is going to make us disappear when the enemy come, come in like a flood. Guess what, man? This devil wants to use this. He wants to use this on us. Okay? Against the men of the Lord. Because guess what? The men of the Lord is going to get that power, man. Do you not see how much fucking bullets... Shooting out, shooting out this gun, bro. From a carnal level, you don't have the spear on you. You gonna be like, fuck that, I'm dead. But through our, through our power, you how about Shimao Shai? We're not supposed to be phased by this, man. Okay. Because the the Lord, the Lord's power, is with us. Okay. The Lord is going to be with us, man. And he comforts us through these scriptures. Let's get this. Angels charge. Psalms 91 and 11. It says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. <clears throat> so the angels going to, you know, the Lord is going to give the angels, you know, permission you know to watch over us to protect us to you know even grant us you know ways to escape power you know to to keep us away from this destruction this this evil that is coming okay because we we're gonna need it man we're gonna need divine intervention from this devil we're gonna need divine intervention from this devil bro you telling me we're not gonna need divine intervention We need we need Yahabashim Yah Shai. If we find against Esau, look at Esau right right in this shit. He he's controlling this. Shooting twenty four thousand rounds a minute. Blast of fire, man. Shooting out this uh shooting out this uh out of this gun, man. Okay. We're gonna need we're gonna need power. Um, let me grab this real quick. And guess what? The Lord, I mean, the Lord is giving Esau a sharpened sword. <laughs> Okay, right here. Ezekiel 21 and 11. It says, And he hath given it to the furbish that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened and is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to show you who the slayer is. Let's see. Right, the slayer will be Esau, right? Psalm 17 and 13, it says, O arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. The wicked will be Esau, right? Which is thy sword. So the slayer, all right, and the sword of the heavenly father is Esau. So the Lord is, is granting this devil, you know, technology you know, ways to sharpen his sword, you know, you got, you got the nukes, you got your military arsenal, you got your weapons, you got robot dogs, you got, you know, um, you know, you got your army with, um, you know, you got your military armies, 
you know, with body suits, jet, jet packs, all, all, all type of stuff, man. Things, things that we haven't seen yet. Okay, things that we haven't seen yet. Let me grab this. Um, let's get the next try there. Right, this uh Psalms eighteen and twenty nine it says, For by thee I have run through a troop, and my power have I leaped over a wall. So even in the ancient days the Lord granted King David, you know, spiritual power. King David was jumping over walls, bro. Okay. And the Lord had gave King David to run through a troop. Guess what? There's gonna be a bunch of these people with many guns like this, you know, shooting at us. Shooting at our houses. All right, guess what? We're gonna run through them like a troop. Okay, like Flash. All right, like X Men. Just the stopping time because you move so quick. Verse thirty. It says, "As for Yahweh Shemal Shai, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. So when the Lord said, "Fear not, I am with thee. I, I will help you." And guess what? We're choosing that the Lord is going to be our shield, our buckler. Okay? We're not supposed to doubt. Because even a thought of doubt, you know, is not the ways of Yahweh Shai. We're supposed to have faith in him. We're not supposed to fear those things. <clears throat> See, the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. We're going to grab that, right? Verse 31, it says, For who is Yahweh Shai? Save, Ye save Yahweh. Or who is a rock? Save our power. It is the most high that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in my arms. All right. So even King David, you know, this thing about the Matrix, when they plugged Neo with fucking Kung Fu, you know, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all that stuff. The Lord is doing the same. He's going to do the same thing with us. He's going to teach our hands to war. <clears throat> and guess what? The Lord, uh, the Lord gave King David strength. You know, un undestructible strength to fucking bend a bow of steel. You see a you see a uh, a light pole out there. You just grab it off the roots and bend it. You know, you breaking a bow of steel with your with your arms. All right, like a fucking pencil. You 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 bending it, man. All right, and that's gonna be your. You can make anything your weapon, man. So when you make his, when he make up our feet like hind's feet, you see, the thing about deer, they're they're agile. They're they're very. They can jump very high. They stay balanced. All right, they they can zip through a forest in about five, three, four, five seconds, man. How you think they be running away from their from the cheetah so fast? Cause they could zip, they could go one way and zip the other way. And if you don't, if you're not agile and you know fast, you're not gonna catch it, All right? And it says that set of me upon my high places. Okay. Let's get this. What I quoted. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, For the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? So the Lord has not given the spirit of fear. See? <clears throat> See, Esau, he trusts in his carnal things. Okay? We trust in the spiritual things. All right. Um, let me see. Let's grab this. All right, we're going to hold on to this right here. It says, For the most have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So when we see this, 
hey, the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear to fear this, man. Yes, at first we see it like, damn, what the fuck? Esau got, Esau got a fucking sword, man. He got that. He got that. Bro, he know how to wield it. It, it don't matter what you give him. Darts, arrows, a gun. He's a master at it, man. The Lord gave him that blessing. Okay? See, the Lord, can, but the Lord always comforts us, all right, because about giving us a sound mind. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. So we know that time is coming, or Esau is going to come in like a flood, right? To 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 slay the men of the Lord, okay? But the Lord's going to give us comfort because, hey, hey the Lord's going to be with us. The Lord's going to grant us power, Lord willing. All right, to the to defeat this devil, to escape this devil, man. All right, but see, this devil he thinks carnal, but us we have to think we have to think spiritual, right? Romans eight and six, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High. Neither, neither indeed can be. See, a carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. So, even some of our people are going to be carnal, carnally minded and pick up a gun and try to fight this devil with his own blessing. It's not going to work. This devil is going to pull in what military technology you've never seen. All right? He's going to break down your door. All right? He's going to have things he can see through. He can see through a fucking house and see the infrared you know, technology, see who's in there or who's not. Bro, this devil has technology that you don't even know. That's the sword. For us, we can't be carnally minded, man. We can't be fearing these things that this devil, you know, portrays, that he shows, you know. Because guess what? That's all going to fail, man. When the Lord grants his men, when his men with power, with undestructible power, God divine power, this is not gonna do it. Nothing's gonna be able to to defeat it, man. You see Goku, you see Invincible Man, you see Dragon Ball Z, you see these different, you know, these different animes, you know, X Men, you know, that's all. That's all to to show you what the Lord is gonna the Lord is gonna give us, man. Okay. So when you go back, it says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So when we are spiritually minded, we're going to be trusting in the Lord. All right. We're going to be at peace. We're going to be at a sound mind, man. Okay. See, this devil's coming down with great wrath with his mini guns and, you know, and his arsenal. And guess what? We're going to come with something even greater. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shimon Shai, about Shimon Till next time I say Shalom.